It was the new year, and full steam ahead to put the Mantua Berkshire back together. Using my new Dremel 3000, I removed all spray paint from electrical pickup points on the tender trucks and reassembled them. I then started on the locomotive frame, wire wheeling paint from the insert points where the brass pieces went, putting the driver wheels back in place, and removing excess paint from the drivers. I then decided to give the driver wheels some white walls, so I tried my best with my white paint pen, and they turned out decent. Next up was reinstalling the rods. I tightened down three rod screws on one side of the driver wheels and started on affixing the assembled valve gear. It was here that I stopped and looked over my leftover parts and wrote a list of the few pieces I was missing to complete the valve gear and rods on the other side and completely finish the Berkshire. While doing so, I discovered that my rod hanger piece was either damaged or a defect, as it did not have the holes on either side where the rod screws would go in to hold up the valve gears. Needless to say, this was quite disappointing. Last but not least, I attached the front and trailing trucks to the locomotive frame. After searching for a little while, I came to the conclusion that finding all the little Mantua parts I needed to complete the Berkshire kit as the kit instructed would be hard, as some of them, such as the rod hanger, were specific to the Mantua Berkshire model or a few other Mantua models. So I decided to just look for a complete Mantua 282 Mikado chassis and rod assembly which I could use to finally finish my Berkshire. Huge shout out to Garrett of the Kokosing Valley Model Railroad YouTube channel, the link to his YouTube channel will be in the box below, who traded me a four parts Mantua Mikado chassis. So I swapped over the clean brass pieces to the Mikado chassis, attached the motor and bottom plate, and sure enough, the Mikado chassis roared back to life. I then spent time straightening some bent rods while piecing the Berkshire back together. From there, I replaced the tender wheels with nickel silver ones for better electrical pickup and had to do some other modifications because it turns out the Mikado chassis was a bit longer, about an eighth of an inch, than the Mantua Berkshire chassis. So the main three screw holes to secure the diecast boiler on top were slightly off. Shortly thereafter, the Berkshire finally got its first official test run down the track, with the tender and boiler shell attached. The last steps were to decorate the locomotive and tender with paint pens and lettering, which had to be the most enjoyable part of the entire restoration process. On March 20th, 2022, my custom Mantua Ephrata Valley Railroad 284 Berkshire Steam Locomotive Number 60 was finally finished. I still have some fine tuning to do to get it to run as best as possible and I hope I can get the headlight bulb working in the process. I couldn't be more proud of number 60, knowing the state this unfinished Mantua kit was in when I bought it, and all the work I put into this restoration project.